on. David is making a statement in a very important context because of the era in which he was living. In the era in which he was living, the people worshipped different gods and, and they had God for rain, God for sun, God for whatever, every, everything had a God. And, and so they, they would call the God something and they would call the God something. But now David says, no, I'm not referring to any of these gods. I am referring to the one who created the heavens and the earth. The one true living God. And he says that, oh Elohim, you are my L. Now the word L there is translated God. I mean in the chi, to help you to understand, in the chi, you know we say Nyame. Nyame doesn't necessarily refer to the supreme God. It, it can refer to any God. Now in those days, when they use the word L, the word L means mighty one. Mighty one. So, um, different people in, in that time could use L for whatever God were. Now, David says that Elohim, that's the true living God, you are my L, you are my mighty one, you are my almighty one. In other words, you are my strength in this particular situation that I find myself. So at that point in time, David knows that God can be so many things to him. God can be his provider, God can be his healer, God can be his banner, God can be, but in that situation in the wilderness where he needed God and he needed strength, he says, oh God, you are my strength. You are my might. Because at this moment, I know you are my might. Now, the thing about knowing God is that you know God in specific situations. So when you go through a particular situation, you lean more on God and out of that situation, you get a revelation of who God is. Then you can call God my healer because you saw him heal you. You can go, call God my provider because you saw him provide for you. You can call God my banner because you saw him fight on your behalf. I want to ask you, who is God to you? Because God is so many things. In fact, it would take eternity to know God. But you've got to know God specifically in every given circumstance. So that when you face the next circumstance, you can say, Oh God, you are my this. Oh God, you are my that. You have to learn to know God. People of God, if there is anything at all I want you to know in this church, is to know God. Go, know God, know God, know God. If you know God, look, you my, my, my work is done as a pastor. Oh yeah. Because we, a lot of believers have a faulty perception about who God is. That's why we easily get frustrated with God. That's why we easily get tired of God because our perception about who God is has been twisted by the kind of theology that we are exposed to. You have to know God for yourself. And, and later I will show you. So David says that, oh God, you are my God. You are my strength. You are my might. I can't handle this situation on my own. My strength will fail me. But I know that when you are my might, I can go through this wilderness and I can come out stronger. That is David's position.